Hello and welcome to part two of the May 2022 Celtic Tune of the Month. So this month I had two mazurkas because they're pretty short and these two go well together. In fact, they may have originally been the same one and just kind of over time morphed into two different uh, mazurkas. But anyway, so this one's called Sunny Brogans. Uh, this one is in the key of D, so we need the F sharps and the C sharps. Uh, when you're transitioning from one to the other, it's uh, really easy to just lift a couple of C levers. You don't have to lift all of the C levers, just basically two are all you need, depending on how you arrange that left hand. If you can avoid the C in the left hand, all you need is one, is the one um, C above middle C lifted, so that makes it really easy. So again, this is a mazurka in 3-4 time, and um, refer to my video on Hugh Gillespie's Mazurka as far as the timing goes on it. Here is the A part of Sonny Brogan's. We're going to start by outlining a D major chord, so D, F sharp, A. And then we're going to go down, so I'm going to put my second finger on that A. We're going to play A again, three in a row, so A, G, F sharp, and now I'm going to go my second finger to A and my thumb up to D. Okay, so it's D chord outlined here. Second finger on A, three in a row down. And then F sharp, A, D. Now we're going to go back down. We're outlining a D major chord in the first inversion, D, A, F sharp to A, and then two G's, and then four in a row from B. And then we're going to go F sharp to A. We're going to walk that fourth finger down, leaving keeping the A in between each one. So then, so it's F sharp to A, E to A, and then D, F sharp, A. Because we're going to start it all over again. So A, G, F sharp. And then A to D. Again, outlining that D chord in the first inversion. So D, A, F sharp, A, and now two Gs. That second G, I'm going to put my fourth finger on it so I can get my thumb all the way up an octave higher to the next G. And then from here, it's four in a row, down to D. Okay, this one's a little more complicated than Hugh Gillespie's, but not too bad. Still fun to play. So again, D, F sharp, A, and then second finger on A, G, F sharp, then F sharp, A to D, then D, A, F sharp, thumb on A to G, and then G to B, four in a row down from B, then F sharp, A, Walk that fourth finger down one string at a time. It's an A in between each one. And now D, F sharp, A. We're starting over again. A, G, F sharp, A, D. D again. A, F sharp, A, G. Now fourth finger goes to G again. Thumb up to this high G, four in a row. Gonna, we're going to count out the A part. As I said in my uh, video on Hugh Gillespie's Mazurka, in Poland uh, the downbeat is on the second beat, um, so it would be counted one and two. But all the Irish uh, Mazurkas that I have seen written out count the downbeat, uh, write it out as a pickup note. So that's how I'm going to count it out. So instead of one and two, we're going to count three and one. So here we go. One, two, three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, 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 two.
Here is the B part, so we're going to start with our third finger on A, then we're going to go to D and F sharp, and then F sharp up to A. Now four in a row from the A all the way down to E. Second finger goes to that E you just played. Thumb is on G, four in a row, all the way down to D. Go to that D with your second finger you just played, thumb to F, four in a row from that F sharp. Now we're going to go C sharp to E, walk that finger, fourth finger down to B, B, E, A, and then D, F sharp, then F sharp to G, uh, A, four in a row from A down to E, second finger to E, thumb to G, four in a row from the G down to E. Second finger to D, thumb to F sharp, four in a row, down to C sharp from the F sharp, ending on D. So, and then that B part gets repeated. Let's count it out. As I've said before, the po uh, Polish polkas are on beat two. It would be one and two, but this is an Irish one, and they tend to write that first beat as a pickup, so that's how we'll count it. One, two, three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and triple it, one. Here are the chords to the A part of Sunny Brogan's. We're going to start with D. Stay on D. We're going to go to A. Now, if, unless you want to lift all these C levers up here, you can just play like I'm going to play the A without the C. And we're going to go to D, A, D, and then D. repeat the A part. Here are the chords for the B part. We're going to start with D again. A, B minor, and then A, G, F sharp minor. And if you do that, you're going to make sure that C lever is up, so you have a C sharp. And then we're going to go back to D. A, and if you don't have that C lever up, just leave out the C. Then G, A, to D. 